Should we be thinking about things as, as molecules or should we be thinking about things as a continuum fluid? The idea is that if I make something spin, okay, then it should curve, okay? And this is, so if I'm gonna, what I'm going to try and do is hit the table tennis ball somewhere over there, so please catch it, okay? But the idea is that if I make it spin in this direction, okay, then the second idea that I gave you would kick molecules in that direction, so you'd expect the table tennis ball to go in that direction. But if the sort of Bernoulli calculation is correct, then you expect it to curve that way, okay? Does that make sense? So I might, I get two goes at this, and I'm not, it's not easy to practice this. So, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit it with as much side spin as I can, and then see whether we can agree on which way it curves. Okay? So let's see. I, this is not personal if it hits you, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, I'll try, I'll try one more and then, well, if it doesn't come back, don't worry. Oh, I nearly caught it. But I think, I don't know whether you guys agree, but from, from here at least, it looks very much like it curves, thank you, in that direction. The continuum picture that we've been developing is at least consistent with that experiment, okay? And this molecular picture is not wrong, it's just not relevant for air on Earth.